Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. This is a, what they call a Kamasunari killer. Now, it's a very simple wet fly. Originally tied for sea trout, but it's a very good brown trout fly as well. It depends on the size that you tie it. Now, I'm going to be tying it on this hook here. This is a, what they call a short shank special. It's a size 12, so then it's this one here. And it's a, it's a black version. Now, the shank is equivalent to a 14. It's a gape, it's equivalent to a size 12. Thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread, 8 0 in black. Now I've run the wax through it to start it off, but I'm going to start at the eye and come down about, say, a couple of mil from the eye. And then we tie in the, the yarn, the Kingfisher Blue yarn. Now, just this for the tail, first thing I'm going to do is tie it up the end. Now the reason I'm doing it at this point is to save a wee bit of bulk. So much easier to tighten the way down and open it out slightly and keeping it on the top. And really what I'm doing is taking the twists out of the wool so that it goes flat. Now when you come round the bend slightly, then I'm going to trim it half the length of the body or so, which is there. Brush it out. Just using a little toothbrush here. Just brush the fibres out to open the tail fibres out. For the rib I'm using a fine oval silver tinsel number 16 or small or even use a, uh, if you want just use a, a wire especially in this size you could get away with a wire. Now I'm catching in the full length of the body. Now the yarn I'm going to split the yarn in half it's very easy what you do is just take the twists out it and you'll see how it's splitting into two. Now I only want a single strand which I've got here let me just catch this on. Halfway up, basically it's to give me the measure for the first part of the body, which is there. Now you can tighten this up by spinning it. So it keeps its strength and then wind up. So using it like a floss really. Work your way up. It's a nice colour, the Kingfisher. At this point here, cross your thread. And trim away the waist. Now for the the body what I'm using is a, I say a Chinese red floss, a uni floss, but again I'm going to split it. So it's quite easy to split, you just twist it and you'll see it come in that it splits into two. Just keeps the body that wee bit finer. There's a couple of strands I don't want to trim away for a this on. Catch it again, the full length of the body. Now what I'm going to do is make sure there's wax on the thread. It's so that when I wind up, especially towards the ends here, that it gives me that wee tad bit more grip. Just there. And then wind it on. And just floss light, so look at the shape that you want. Don't have to be too fussy with it. It's fine at that. Leave at least a mil and a half or so for your hackle. Trim away the waist. Bring your rib up. Looking around about five tons or so. Catch it in. And nice and tight, two or three turns and then trim away the waist. And we touch our wax because you need the wax just to make sure that's well tied on. Bring it back to the point where you can tie in the hackle. Now the hackle I'm using is just a dyed black, just a Chinese hen, dyed black. But what you want to do is get one, the fibre length, towards the, the back of the hook. You don't want it too short. We tie this in by the tip. Just going to catch the tip of the hackle here and use the hackle pliers and draw it back. Easiest way to do is to come in with a couple of turns, fold back the tip, come back up with that two turns, slide your fingers back, and you'll see there's the tip of the the hen hackle there. So we can then trim this away. And they fold the fibres, so you can just basically rub the, the, 
the scissors on one edge, you'll hear it folds the fibres back on that leading edge so it's easy to get it to sit right. Now, I'm going to come back in with the hackle pliers, it's much easier for you to see. And then we just, like, you're looking around about three turns or so. Make sure you take a thread to the eye, towards the eye. Don't overdo it though. Catch in your hackle. Now, the stem of these hackles, or this hen hackle, is quite thin. So I'm going to take my hackle pliers away, but always keep a hold of your thread, don't let it go. I'm going to fold it back. And then I'm going to wind over it and form in the head. Just so it's nice and neat. And then I can break that away. But keep the thread tight, don't let the thread go when you do that. If you're not, don't worry, do that, just trim it away. Now, wet finish. Four turns or so. Tighten up. Trim away your thread. And then that's it. It's a very simple, as I say, wet fly. Just draw back these fibres. Then what we have to do is to come in with some varnish. A single a coat of varnish would be fine, but a couple of coats would really finish it off. Don't worry if you get it in the eye of the hook. You don't want it on the fibres though. And just clean the eye out using your I just use my dubbing needle, it's a small hackle, or an old hackle lying about, but my dubbing needle does, so I just can come in and clean that out. And there we are. That's a small camasonary killer. So you can tie it in bigger sizes. But for a real brown trout, uh, certainly this side would be a good one to use. Now, there we are. So I hope you enjoyed that.